thanks for gardening with me. I'm Melissa and today I'm going to be working on weed control. Um, we all deal with it. If you garden, I know that um, it can get away from you super quick. So I like to stay on top of it. I um, pull all my weeds by hand, every single one of them, and I do have a method to my madness. Um, when I go and weed an area, even if it's a big area that has a little bit of weeds here and a little bit of weeds there, I only focus on one section and get every single weed out of that one section before I move on. And if you don't do that, if you leave two or three stragglers behind, they just multiply so fast and within a week, it looks like you never did anything in there. So I like to control one area really well, get every bit of weeds out of there, and then move on to my next one. I do have an area that I let the grass kind of grow a little higher just so I can show you how I do that. So I'll bring you along and let me know if you have any questions and I'll be happy to help. So like I said, you need to make sure that you get the roots out because if you don't get the roots, you're just wasting your time. You might as well go get a shovel. Um, a lot of these I can just get with my hands and I don't need a shovel. And then while I'm in here also, I clean up any debris. I have a couple trees out front that likes to lose their leaves all season long, so constantly battling that. So there you have it. This flower bed is completely weed free. Uh, while I was in there, I debrided some of the plants. Um, some of them had some frostbite, the toad, li toad lilies did. So um, I took all the debris, took all the leaves out. I went ahead and edged it while I was at it. And uh, it looks great, it's ready to go. I don't have to do another thing to it. Um, I'll just keep an eye on it. And if I have one or two weeds that pop up, they'll be really easy to take care of. And um, that's the thing that you want to do. You want to take a small area at a time and get it completely weed free and then you can do another part another day. Even if it's just one big garden, you can make it into sections and just take care of it a little bit at a time. You're much better off to get a little section weed free and then you can move on because if you leave a few weeds behind, they're going to spread and they're going to, I mean if only flowers would grow as fast as weeds do, we'd all be in great shape. So that's it. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I'll be happy to answer them. Um, also, I'd appreciate it if you like, share my page maybe, and definitely subscribe so I can bring you more videos like this in the future. Thanks again. Have a great week.